the most talked about Dallas crime since the Kennedy assassination. Well, isn't Woody Allen in the paper more than he ever wanted to be? And how old can a man be before he dates your daughter? How old can a man be before you won't let your daughter date him? Josh is on the satellite from uh, another location. He's 34 years old, and in our studio is Leslie, his 17-year-old girlfriend. Josh has told us that he wants to marry Leslie, whom he met while Leslie was babysitting for Josh's kids, the oldest of whom is Amy. Where are you, Amy? You, are you following this? <laughs> Leslie is Josh's girlfriend. Amy is Leslie's friend, whom her father, whom Amy's father met when Leslie came over to visit. And the family has gone kaboom. <laughs> Leslie, uh, you just liked your girlfriend's father. You liked him. He was a nice, he's a nice person. Yeah. It's a talk show, Leslie. We're going to have to... Uh, he, you uh, would visit your girlfriend, Amy, and her father would be at the house. And you got to talking and you liked him. He had a good sense of humor and so on and so forth, huh? Yeah. And, huh? What's the matter, Josh? Uh, I can't hear anything that's going on there. I'm getting in a radio station from New York. <laughs> Good station. The last time, the last That's guest better. we had got yellow cab. Is it better now? That's better. Good. Well, you, because you're going to have to have your ears working for this because we're talking about you. Well, it's uh, a good radio station. Yeah. Um, so what, what, you know, uh, night after night you were there and uh, you, then you'd go for a coat. Help me out here how this relationship matured, Leslie. I don't have to tell you that. This is not going to meet the approval of a whole lot of folks, but that's all right. We can do this. Well, he eventually just got to know me. I got to know him. I got to know the kids. I went over there quite often. We all got to know each other. He was comfortable with the situation of me being there. Um, we got along really well, and so it just kind of went from there. Uh -huh. I said, did you did you look up one Tuesday afternoon and say, "Holy cow, I love him"? Well, not really, but close enough. Because... So uh, you and how long was it from the time you first met Amy's father and the time when you felt that you that something serious was going on? Oh, I would say one two months. Two months. <laughs> And do you, uh, and Amy, you're looking on here while this is happening. When did you say, oh, my God? Right away. <laughs> really? As soon as I found out. I'm like, oh, well, how did you find out? They told me. My dad just went out and, you know, I like your friend. I'm like, okay, Dad. You, yeah. <laughs> do you know what he meant by like your friend? Yeah. And... You had to think. You had to think. Oh, Dad. Yeah, because he, he used to just joke around and say, I'm going to marry her he, before he even met her. I'm like, okay, Dad, whatever. Kidding, 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 ha-ha. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, boy, uh, you have, now you're, she's going to be your stepmother. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the usually liberal New York audience is not going to give its approval to this. So. No, I think it's not even it's, California. No, it's what? Disgusting. not even California. It's disgusting, I, I think. There, there are enough women out there he shouldn't pick on. Yeah. What? First of all, he has those glasses on. He must. He does not. Well, uh, let me just explain this. He does not. It is a disguise. He doesn't want to have to walk down the street of his own hometown. He's going to marry her. Well, I mean, let's be real. He, but does she have a father? Les, Leslie, right? Uh, yeah. Leslie has. Me, let me just help you here, Leslie. You ha Leslie has a stepfather, and he is very upset. Do I understand this? Yes, very. He's crazy about this. Hostile crazy. Hostile crazy. Yes, this audience understands how he feels. Amy's, Amy's mom. You want to talk to Amy's that. mom? See, the idea would be is that, that the, the the host is supposed to decide who. Uh, <laughs> 
if she was 17 dating a man that's not even willing to show his face would bother me even more so than anything else. Jackie, you're Leslie's mother. You just recently met Josh, and you're not quite sure how you feel. Do we understand your, uh, what you would like to share with us? Well, I, I don't mind the age difference. If they were maybe five or six years from now, she's not as mature as she thinks she is. I don't think she's going to handle four kids very well. He has four children. One is a year younger than her. And I don't know. I just don't know how to handle it. Josh, what might you want to add to this discussion here? Well, the, the reason that I'm uh, in disguise isn't because of Leslie. Everybody that knows me personally knows about Leslie. But because of my position, um, that is basically what I'm hiding from. I'm, I've got some things, some other interests that I have to worry about. But as far as being ashamed of being with Leslie, I think every, everybody that knows us knows the situation. I think Jackie could probably verify that. So there are no secrets within the circle of people that no, you... No, no, not at all. Uh -huh. Everybody pretty much knows. I've yeah. just got other interests I've got to protect, Phil. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, the, well, the audience now thinks you run numbers or something. Well, no. uh, uh, these would be, I assume, professional. Yes, they are. Yeah, professional. It's okay. the only reason. Uh huh. Uh, so it's not inconceivable that he would have an employer who wouldn't be crazy about this kind of publicity, and so. Uh, if what? If this is your daughter here, you can just stop this. Tell this young, how old are you, 17? Yeah. If, when I was 15, my mom had control. I tried to date a girl who was 20 once, and it was like, Martin, no, no, no. Isn't there's an old saying, 15 will get you 25? laws against somebody marrying uh, early? She's not 15, she's 17. She's 17. She'll be yeah. I'm legally, I, old. I wouldn't go out with her. Yeah, she'll, but she'll legally, I don't think... I, I'm 35. I met my fiancé three years ago. I know her over you 10 years. You look more years. like 45. I look 45? Well, you're hiding. You're, look at you. You're hiding. I met my fiancé. I know her when she was 18. I was 27. Now she's 28 and I'm 35. That's a more of an age than what you're doing. Well, you know, you did meet a long time ago, and yeah, you know. Josh, let me just make the for the record here. You do intend to marry uh, Leslie, isn't that so? Yes, I do. Uh, you, she is a junior in high school. Uh, <laughs> do we assume that you will wait till she graduates before that marriage takes place? Yes, we we are going to wait till she graduates. Uh huh. What else do you want to know? What happened to Amy's what? mother? What happened to Amy's mother? I mean, where is she? How does? She, uh, what happened to her? Yeah. She's still alive. Yes. Uh, yeah. But uh, obviously your father is divorced, and you were living with your father, obviously, at the time uh -huh. that you brought Leslie home. Leslie being 17. Amy, you are 15. Leslie will be 18 in December. I'm not sure uh, what... I don't think there's anything illegal here. Do I understand this? There isn't anything illegal, Phil. We can't stop it at all. Yeah. Say again, Ma. We can't stop it at all. She could run away and be in a whole lot worse trouble. And right now we're just trying to keep her at home and hope she something straightens out here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you wanted to say, caller. Yeah, Phil. Yeah. Um, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I think this man right there, he is he's, he's making a fool of himself and of his daughter. She's got to be the butt of some jokes in her high school. He's putting her through humiliation. I think he's humiliating himself by thinking that he can keep up a relationship with a 17-year-old girl yeah she's 17 years old i yeah. mean i understand there's an age gap and it does matter in a lot of relationships age does take a big part in it yeah i think it's absolutely ridiculous what's going on right now if uh, you joined us late he's 34 she's 17 caller you wanted to say hi i'm 14 years old and i think it's fine if they want to get married that's fine <laughs> i when i was 11 years old i was dating a 20 year old man and my parents thought it was fine Mm -hmm. I think it's the way we're handling it, Phil. Yeah. I mean, it, Are you there, caller? Hi. Welcome back, Phil. What did you want to say? I wanted to say that I'm a 27-year-old man, and I'm interested in a 21-year-old girl now, and I feel that the difference in our experiences and just our knowledge of the world is 
drastic, and that's only a six-year difference. I want to ask Josh what the real attraction to her is besides the fact that she's 17 years old. I think the only uh, 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 attraction that I, I dislike about Leslie is that she is 17, but uh, she doesn't act 17. She's much more than a 17-year-old. The relationship that we've had in the last six months has uh, lasted longer than a lot of marriages. We uh, have already decided what we wanted to do with our lives, and we're not going to do something stupid. Uh, we're not going to run off and get married. We have uh, informed our parents of the situation, let them know what's going on and how we feel about each other. And uh, that's just kind of how you know we're going to go with it, and uh, we're not going to do anything stupid. Uh -huh. And you're not going to make your life about what the neighbors think. All right. I don't think I'd worry about that. I mean... You know, if we all have to worry about that, then I think a lot of us shouldn't be together with somebody. Well, that was my question. What, what do they have in common? What do you do all day? Hey, Leslie, do you want to speak to that? <laughs> we have similar interests, and we enjoy doing things together. Um, he's taking me to the theater. I enjoy that. Um, we do things with the kids. I enjoy that. We're not going to jump in and do anything stupid. We're taking our time yeah. and doing this. You are going to school. Yes. Yeah. Uh, did, did you do you plan to go to college? The woman asks. Um, that is in our, my but, future. Mm -hmm. I do want to. And your relationship with the kids, uh, including your pal who's sitting next to you, is a good one. Is that the, yes. what we should understand? Uh, has your relationship changed, Amy, since this uh, development, uh, since this relationship developed with your dad? Uh, a little bit. I mean, yeah. we're still friends and stuff, but. I mean, she better not dare try to mother you, huh? She does. She, she does? Yes. Yeah. She tries? Yeah. She does. She does. And does that make you, do you laugh or does it make you angry or is it a bothersome thing or what? Well, some, well, sometimes it's, you know, it's good because that is her role and sometimes it, sometimes it bugs me but like when I get in a bad mood or something, you know. Yeah. But okay. We'll give you all a chance here as we return to explore uh, this relationship. When they come to pick up your daughter, don't answer the door. <laughs> uh, and we'll be back in just a moment. Video cassette. This is Fern Gully. Don't you wish all your friends from Fern Gully? I'm Krista. Could come out and play? We could fix that for you. Well, now they can. Wow. There's Krista. Are you really a human? Yes. Oh, wow. Batty Coda. And Zach. For a limited time, your forest adventure set is free with purchase of the hit movie Fern Gully. Rated G. Isn't this great? For $24.98 or $5 less with rebate, additional video purchase required. Details inside Fern Gully. One of the nice things about our job is you never know where you'll go next. But the best part is when you knock on the door and see dreams come true. Oh my God. Congratulations from Porsche's Clearinghouse. <laughs> we're the Prize Patrol from Publishers Clearinghouse, and we're about to go on the road again. Send in your entry now if you'd like us to make you a millionaire soon. Do you know us? Since 1931, Junction Auto Sales has been growing at the corner of U.S. 322 and Ohio 44 and has become the largest retail Chrysler Corporation dealer between the Cuyahoga River and Pennsylvania. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is our end of summer clearance. Buy any new or used vehicle and receive a free boat and motor. For a great deal on a Chrysler, Dodge, Eagle, or Jeep, it's Junction Auto Sales, located 11 miles east of 271 or 10 miles south of I-90 at the junction of U.S. 322 and Ohio 44, Chardon. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Honey Deacon. And I'm Dick Fegler. Here are some of the stories we're following for Channel 3 News at 6. We'll tell you how a west side neighborhood has a unique way to rid their streets of prostitutes and their jobs. Also, an emotional plea from the parents of this blind girl who was killed in a hit-and-run accident this weekend. The flats get coated with cement. We're going to tell you how this happened, plus Mayfield Heights police continue to search for three missing boys. We'll have an update all starting at 6 o'clock, right after Donahue.
Jackie, who is uh, Leslie's mother, uh, was very honest in your conversations with us prior to our program. Uh, Jackie, you don't want your daughter to make the same mistakes you did. Do right. You? You've been married more times than you want to necessarily brag about. So right. You married real early. I think you were a teenage married the first yeah, time. Yeah, I was 17. And didn't you have kids when you... Three. Three. Uh, and then there were to follow three more marriages, I think. Yeah. Okay, so not so lucky in love. Okay, well, this is America. We don't lock people up for those mistakes. But it is also true, and all these mothers in this audience understand that you, know, you would love to, I, you know, you wish that he were a dentist closer to her age. Do we sure. have it? Sure. All right, he isn't. Uh, so, could we have just a little more from you on your feelings on this, Mom? And this is something. She, she's been there all my marriage, through all my marriages. She knows what it's been like. She knows the mistakes. She's got to realize I went into those marriages in love, seeing all the same things she is seeing. Yeah. And I didn't go in there knowing I was going to get a divorce. And she doesn't see any of that. She sees mine, but none of hers. Uh -huh. And she's, she has a real tough time seeing. Right. And, and if, you were to, if you were to become a general patent on this and put your foot down, you really think you'd push her away, is, is that right? Yeah. She'd probably run away and get married like I did. And this way, maybe, maybe they won't. Maybe they will. If it's right, it's right. If it's not, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And if she stays in school, maybe we have a chance. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my people on this side. Josh, you were saying, Josh, go right ahead. I, I made kind of a pact with some of the people that I'm affiliated with that uh, who are also aware of the situation that to just keep her in school, and we don't have a problem with that. We're not going to rush in anything. You know, we're not going to run out of state and get married. We're just going to kind of let things go the way they are. Um, I've been in other situations involved with other women, and I, you know, I wish that. The feelings that I have for Leslie I had prior to this, you know, with my first marriage, then I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in right now. But uh, we're just going to go with it slow, and uh, if things continue the way they are, we're not going to have any problems uh, that we can't deal with. We've dealt with a lot of things that, that most people never have to deal with um, already, and uh, we've just, we kind of go through this with flying colors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Leslie very much, and, it, you know, it, it has nothing to do with with my prior marriage or, or her parents or the relationships they had prior to, to the situation they're in now. It's just that we've been through some things and some experiences and, and we know the right way and the wrong way to do things. And unfortunately, our age differences are different. But as far as loving each other, I mean, I could never love anybody as much as I love Leslie. Let me get some brief comments from these uh, studio audience people. Yes. Yeah. Hi, I have a question for Leslie, and that is, how many people have you gone out with in the past, and is this your first sexual experience? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's you don't have to question. answer that. It's true, Leslie. Uh, the, the Constitution does not oblige you to, oblige you to answer all these questions. Um, I do think we have a... I do think we understand, however, this, this woman's curiosity about how much of a social life you may have had Prior. That's fine, but as far as any of her past sexual experiences, I don't think that's any of that lady's business. Uh, Leslie, did you want to tell us about, I assume you, what, you had boyfriends, uh, high school football games? I had games many and... boyfriends, many. I, I, I don't even know where to begin, where to start. Josh? Yeah. Uh, what do your uh, mom and dad know, or, or what do they think, or, what, or do they know? Oh, well, uh, as soon as I told them, uh, as soon as I realized I had feelings about her, I, I of course, told my parents about it right away. Uh, my mother was... Uh, she was kind of concerned about the age difference until she got to meet Leslie and find out, you know, what kind of a person she was. Uh, my father, he's on like his uh, third or fourth marriage, and he kind of looks at her uh, in, a, in a way I, I wish he wouldn't, so I'd rather not comment on how, on how he, he, you know. Over here, John. What I wanted to say was, um, I think everybody here seems to be judging, and we don't know her. I know a lot of people that are 17 that are very mature. And a lot of people that are 17, they're very immature. And I don't That's know her, right. and it's possible that she's m mature to a level that many people here think maybe more like a 20-year-old. I don't know a what lot, some people A lot think more than the most 17-year-olds have in their lifetime. I think her mom could probably agree, for, agree to that. She does. Her mother does agree. Yes, ma'am. I'm concerned with Josh. Who's taking care of the four children? Who has custody? And when do you pl both plan to have children? Okay. Um, the, the oldest one isn't living at home, okay? And that was something that we all agreed to. Uh, as far as the other three, I have custody of them, and uh, 
They're, they love Leslie a, a lot as well. As she does a lot with them. Um, their mother, uh, she used to be a good mother for many years. She was, but the last three or four years, she decided that she didn't want to have anything to do with that anymore. So they've been neglected in some areas that Leslie's been able to fulfill, and uh, they don't see anything uh, wrong with the, the age difference. All they see is that they have this uh, couple that are in love with each other, and I think that's mostly what they're concerned about is to know that, that we care about them as much as well. Yeah. Leslie, you are a beautiful young girl. Have you thought about what all you're going to be missing out on with your girlfriends, finishing high school, going to college, having parties? You're going to be raising a family, and you're so young and so pretty. There's more people to love in this world besides an older man. <laughs> well, we are in love, and I guess you can't really choose who you want to fall in love with. You can't choose that. And I have fallen in love with him, and we've dealt with it, and we have to continue dealing with it. Are you there, caller? Yes. You wanted to say? I'm a 14-year-old boy, and I condone this relationship. I think it's good. And I'm attracted to older women. I think it's okay then. Be careful. Come on. It's true. Yeah? Like how old? Maybe four or five years older. Fourteen. So you go for 18-year-old. Oh, yeah. 19-year-old. Yeah, 17. Yeah. yeah. I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad you called. Now, go to your room. <laughs> How are you there? Hi. I'm glad you're over. Hello. 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 I am disgusted. I am the mother of four children, and I don't understand how this man can justify changing his role as a parent and a role model and, and, and taking this girl and turning her life around. He should be ashamed of himself, and her mother should be, too. Let me just say, um, uh, let me just review here. Josh, as we've established, is 34 and fell in love with Leslie, who was 17. Leslie, ha he met Leslie because Leslie's girlfriend was Josh's daughter, Disgusting. Amy, Disgusting. who's Disgusting. 15. Huh? Disgusting. That's horrible. Well, I, would I know. Hate to think I know. I guess you're on the record. Uh, I would hate to think that my two daughters would go over to a girlfriend's house and have a parent there that's supposed to be a role model and have them turn out to fall in love with my daughter and, and seduce her. <laughs> It changes her role as a friend to this girl. She, she, she has to change her whole life for this man. Her parent, her mother should be ashamed of herself, and this man, he should be ashamed. There should be laws against this. Jackie. Ch child of, child Why don't we let, uh, the, uh, the, l l let's let Jackie respond to your uh, passionate uh, condemnation here. Yes, ma'am. I had no control over this one. She lives with her dad. She has for the last three years. When she lived with me, I knew where she was, who her friends were, and what was going on in her life. Yeah. As much as, a, well, we live in but a little town. But we can town. see the fallout now. Is mm -hmm. uh, Now we got some rumbling in the other family. Mm -hmm. and uh, I know that your ex-husband, that is to say, uh, Leslie's stepfather, who mm -hmm. incidentally raised her well and uh, mm -hmm. has high marks from everybody uh, for his uh, guardianship and his parenthood mm -hmm. of Leslie, is outraged by this. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, not too many men would not understand his feelings. Uh, but we do have Josh on the record saying, uh, first of all, I guess you want everybody to know this is a mutually consensual relationship. Nobody broke any laws here. And uh, as in all love, you don't know how it happened or why it happened. It just happened that here it is, and you're going to follow your heart. Do we understand your point here, Josh? Yeah. I don't have a choice. You know... If there was somebody else that I would love just as much, you know, I would have, maybe it would have been better, but that's not how it worked out for me. And you feel the same way, Leslie. Yes. And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> It's our first new car. Your Toyota dealer invites you to discover the all-new Corolla. 
to the baby, we needed something a little bigger. More room than ever before with a standard driver's side airbag and available ABS. We needed something we felt we could depend on. Plus Corolla's reputation for value and reliability that Toyota dealers have been delivering for over 25 years. Afford it? The only hard part was choosing the color. Rediscover value at your Toyota dealer and discover Corolla again. Hurry to Murray's for the carpet buy of the year. It's the Bigelow buyout sale only at Murray's. We specially purchase truckloads of first quality DuPont Stain Master Carpet by Bigelow in dozens of decorator colors. This thick, luxurious plush carpet sells elsewhere for $25 a square yard and more. But right now at Murray's, it's super sale price from only $8.99 a square yard. With no money down, no payments whatsoever till spring of 93. Hurry for best selection to Murray's Carpet for Less. Everybody knows Murray's. During DOC's back-to-school savings event, some people actually dress like students to get their frames for half off. Now everyone, 8 to 80, student or not, can get our best-selling frames for half off. Plus, you'll get them in 60 minutes or less. And as always, there's no risk, because you get 30 days to try your glasses or contacts, and if you're not 100% satisfied for any reason, you'll get your money back. You have my word on it. It took lawyers over 100 years to get back to doing what Abraham Lincoln did long ago. Abraham Lincoln advertised for the same reason Hyatt Legal Services does today. To bring the law closer to people, you can talk with one of our lawyers for just $20. And for cases like divorce, wills, bankruptcy, and accidents, we tell you our fee up front. Hyatt Legal Services, a good idea that just keeps getting better. I'm Joel Hyatt, and you have my word on it. To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. <laughs> Fred Arias joins us. Listen to this. Fred is 70. <laughs> His wife is, uh, Georgie, is 21. They got married three years ago. Four years ago, okay. Um, you had recently been rid widowed, right, Fred? Yes, sir. Uh, and you uh, you live in a trailer park, I think. Mobile home. Park. Mobile home. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> there is. Uh, you walked out, and there she was, standing in the middle of the street. Uh, yes, that's about it. Yes. You were really kind of a lost soul at the time, were you, George? Georgie, are you? Uh, you were not American born. No. You're from? Hungary. And you were then, what, about 17 at the time? 17, yes. And uh, no mother, no family, no, no nothing? No, I had my mother. But were you with her? Well, yes. You well, were, no. You weren't no. with her then? I was um, being with another gentleman. I had a boyfriend. I see. But you were not a happy camper, shall we put it this way. Exactly. Uh, broke, and uh, I think, did you have some problems with your mom? I don't know. What I have, said. yeah. Okay. And so there you were, almost like a waif, you know, a, a, a Charles Dickens uh, character. And, and here he comes out and says, you know, what? No, I was looking for it. I was asking for direction. For direction? Yes. Now, just let me just finish the story. <laughs> um, you want to pick it up here? Yes. Well, her, her mother had uh, ejected her uh, from their home, and uh, she had nowhere to go. And I had... Uh, lost my wife of 44 years right. and I said I'm a gentleman I, I have a couch you're welcome to it they're looking for a dirty story where are we getting <laughs> she comes in she reclines on his couch no monkey business no funny business how long she lived like that in your living room about four months four months uh, we, I believe you, Fred. We, we I'm needed, sorry about some people in the audience. We both needed you know. someone. Huh? We both needed someone. There, you were really emotionally fulfilled by this, the company of this young woman. Oh, the company of someone. Yeah. And she did re, She did reside, so to speak, in the living room on the couch. So she literally yeah. did, yeah. And he wasn't, uh, you know, we got some folks in the audience that want to believe he was a dirty old man who snuck up on you no, in the middle of the night. No, he was not. He was a gentleman. He was. Right. Now, you lived this way then for three years, or three months. Is that right? yeah. Three or four months. Yeah. yeah. And, and then what, Fred? Well, well by then my mom knew him too. By then, we, I introduced 
them to each other, my mom and him. No, as a matter of fact, I took her back to her mom because exactly. she didn't particularly want to go to her mom. And I said, come on, it's your mother, your grandmother is there, and uh, I'm going to take you over there. And you should uh, uh, get together with your mother and uh, patch up whatever difference. Uh -huh. And during this three months, you went out, you probably cried a little, your wife's recently dead, you were, a, oh, you were kind of a confused bad. dude at the time, I'll bet. Very confused. And it was nice to be able to talk to him, do I understand this? Yeah. You had somebody to talk yeah. to. And actually, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, we, he took me around, he took me to places, you know, the, the first day we met, he took me out to lunch. <laughs> you know. It's, you it's her awesome. shoes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just a, yeah. We just had a great relationship. Right. right. Now, after three months, Georgie, yes. what did he say? Um, he got a... I was living with my mom at that time because I got together with her. And he bought a dozen roses and uh, he came proposing to me singing Fairy Comb on one knee. Singing so. Fairy Comb on <laughs> <laughs> Not oh sure how you feel about this one, are you? <laughs> And you said what, Georgie? Yes. <laughs> well, not no, quite. Her grandmother talked her into it. Yes. Yeah. Now, we should make this point. I don't. Th and as Josh has already made the point, you don't mm -hmm. have to tell us anything you don't want us to know. At the time of this proposal, you had not been intimate. There had been no. Uh, I had a boyfriend pre previously, and uh, if you girls out there want to know whether the younger or the older ones do I prefer I'll take my husband over any young because guy. the younger boys with whom you were socializing prior to your meeting Fred what uh, interested in they, boy, are, they, are, boy. they are interested in uh, well in my opinion getting you in bed and if they do marry you, you get stuck with two children right away and your career and everything else stops right there mm -hmm. and I wasn't interested in that right so the notion of marriage then to Fred was not a totally uh, uh, um, out of the question idea for you? No, not at all. And so he gives you the roses. He, what'd you sing? Oh, Sola Mia? What is, what's what Perry Como? Uh, what was it? It was Perry Como. Um, when the moon hits your eye. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> no, that's the Dean Martin. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, did you go then immediately to Las Vegas? No, to Lake Tahoe. I think there was no other love to buy. Yeah. What was it? No other love. Have I. No North, other love have I. Yes, yes. Uh, North, North Lake Tahoe. The Tate, Lake side. Tahoe you went. And what did the judge say? He must have kind of fell off his bench, didn't he? <laughs> Personal friend. Uh -huh. I, I was from uh, North... Uh, I see. I was from South Lake Tahoe. Right. He marries you, and this is th four years ago? Uh, December the 9th. Uh, uh, January the 9th of... Uh, 89. 89. A year after... A little over after my... A uh, year after my wife had passed. Uh huh. So it'll be four years this coming January. Yes. Okay. Uh, and this is nice. You love this. You love him, and this is a very good marriage. Do I have it? Yeah. She doesn't let me in the bathroom alone. <laughs> she follows <laughs> me everywhere. Right. She dresses me. <laughs> right. She feeds me. Yes. Now, now you did share with the people with whom you spoke prior to coming here. I don't think I peek in any windows to say mm -hmm. that your relationship is lovely and mutually uh, cooperative <clears throat> and maybe not sex three times a day but that's not anything you'd be interested in anyway how well, am I doing it's, it's here? The beginning, yes. in the beginning <laughs> uh, sorry but this is much better what this is much better than being married to a guy who goes to a sports bar drinks beer all night and yeah. doesn't come home and yeah she she's very spoiled. She has literally everything. Yeah. I put her through school. She's a licensed real estate person. Yeah, she's doing mm -hmm. great. How do you do you have a pet name for your husband? Yeah. Papa. You don't want to know. <laughs> Papa. Yeah. Definitely a father. She's got more fun than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> we'll be back to inquire of this audience what <laughs> How you may think about uh, this happy relationship, which will be four years in January, and we'll be back in just a moment. Whenever you vacuum, use Woolite self-cleaning rug cleaner. It's so easy to get clean rugs in minutes with no scrubbing, 
we have time to show you again. Woolite Self-Cleaning Rug Cleaner. It's so easy to get clean rugs with no scrubbing. We had time to show you again. And for pet stains, introducing Woolite Pet Stain Eliminator. It removes tough pet stains and odors better than ordinary rug cleaners. New Woolite Pet Stain Eliminator, because ordinary rug cleaners aren't always enough. Good morning, birthday girl. Don't remind me. I hope no one finds out. It's our secret. Introducing Pond's Foaming Cleanser and Toner in One. It deep cleans and helps tighten pores to bring out your natural radiance. And this birthday wish goes out to Deborah Palmer from a secret admirer. You are so beautiful to me. Pond, it brings out your natural radiance. I'm not dumb. I know what Weight Watchers is doing with this big half-off deal. They get you in there with this incredible deal. Uh, teach how to eat right, get you looking great, really splendid. Oh, the best you've ever looked. And then you go out and walk around and people come up to you and they say, oh, How did you do that? And you say, Weight Watchers. And bingo, you've become this free walking, talking advertisement for them. Want to know where to sign up? Join now for half off. Call 1-800-572-8600. Offer ends October 10th. Are you pregnant? Then get ready for USA Baby's one-day baby boom sale. Saturday for 12 hours, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Save up to 70% on everything for your baby. Up to 70% off on cribs, strollers, car seats, bedding, high chairs, and more. Save up to 70% for one day only. This Saturday for 12 hours, save up to 70%. Notice we will close early on Friday at 5 p.m. to mark down every item in our store. USA Baby now has three locations to serve you. Westlake, Menor, and Cuyahoga Falls. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dick Fagler. I'm Connie Deacon. Here's some of the stories we're following for Channel 3 News at 6 o'clock this afternoon. An emotional plea for help from the parents of this little blind girl who was killed by a hit-skip driver this weekend. We'll tell you why an area neighborhood is relieved that this house is being torn down. Plus, we'll update the snowfall of cement that fell in the flats and the cleanup afterwards. All ahead on Channel 3 News at 6, right after Donahue. We'll see you this afternoon, plus the Doppler 3 forecast. See you then. Yes, uh, ma'am, you wanted to say hello. Yeah. yeah, it sounds to me like the way you've described your relationship emotionally. About whom do you speak? Fred and uh, Georgie? Yes, about yeah. Fred and Georgie. Mm -hmm. That it is emotionally pretty much a father-daughter kind of thing. If you take the sex out of it, that's... The emotion that I hear you generating. What would you I, say, I Fred? Harf and arf. Yeah, harf and arf. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for Josh. Right. Um, if you really loved her, you wouldn't be wearing your hat and your and your glasses no matter what. And also, it doesn't seem like I mean it seems like you want a babysitter but you don't want to pay her. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for the couple on the yeah. on the right. Will there be any children? No. I'm trying. <laughs> yes, I'd like to ask Josh, if it was his daughter that came home with a gentleman of his age, how would he feel about that? I would be concerned on how they handle the situation. You know, I mean, you know, I've been through it, so I, you know, how, how am I to judge her? Um, I know the situation I'm in with Leslie now, and I'm very happy with it, so I would have to take a second look at it. Over here, please. Um, Leslie, one of the best decisions I made in my life was going away to a four-year college. How much consideration are you giving to that? And would you go away to school and not be with Josh for four years? Well, it's not like we're going to run off and get married right away. Everybody here is insinuating. Well, how, how, much time are you how much time are you planning, she asked. We don't want to get married for another four, five, six years. I was just wondering if uh, Josh is going to go to Leslie's prom or not. <laughs> Anything, Josh? Uh, I, I don't want to say. Yeah. Isn't the reason why he has to wear his hat because we put our value system onto other people and therefore he's embarrassed? The, yes. While I, he may be correct, no, what he's doing. that's not the situation. I I've got a position where I'm in the public eye, and there's a lot of people involved here that may not understand this, and they don't have to understand this. You know, they could just start dropping accounts left and right. Um, you know, like I, I said earlier, everybody that knows me personally knows about my situation. And there's a lot of people that know about it. Are you there, That's caller? Me. Hello, caller. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Uh, Phil. Yeah. Uh, I want to know the older couple. 
Yeah, go ahead. Ask him. Uh, what's going to happen, say, ten years from now? Well, when you know, the old he... joke is, if she dies, she dies. No, <laughs> uh, so him, him, when he's, he's too old to do anything. <laughs> Thank you, George. You're not upset, huh? No. We got to laugh here or, or else you never know. You know be... uh, so here's the point, Fred. Uh, 70, huh? 70-year-old. You have taken care of yourself, by golly. Uh, stayed off the cigars and the six-packs, I guess. Um, but you never know, 80 years old, you know, you, what do you think? I have two aunts. One's uh, 95, the other one's 93. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you're not worried about it. Okay. We do. Are you, are you there? Call her high. Hi, um, I'm 17, and I just want to tell Jackie that if you knew how to control your daughter's relationship, she wouldn't be in this position right now. Jackie, do you want to respond here? You're being assaulted again. She, I should remind late tuners in that Jackie is uh, Leslie's mother. And uh, it was on the occasion of Leslie coming to see her girlfriend, 15-year-old Amy, that she fell in love with Amy's father. Jackie, you wanted to say... I just found out about this about three weeks ago, and since then she is back home with me. And I live about 250 miles from Josh. Are you there, caller? Hi. Yeah, Phil. What do you think? Uh, I have no problem with this. I'm, I'm 20 years old dating a 16-year-old girl. I don't see anything wrong with a 34-year-old dating a 17-year-old. I mean, God bless them if they yeah, can make thank it you, work. God bless them. Thank All you. All right. Hang on. Yeah. Fred, do you have any children or grandchildren, and are my, they older? My daughter is 47. My granddaughter is uh, 28. So you have they're, a granddaughter older than your wife. Oh, yes. They, they love Georgie. They all. Oh. Everything's fine at home. Peachy. And it probably saved your uh, emotional life, didn't it? I mean, yeah. uh, you were alone, 44 years married. Boom, all of a sudden you're alone there. All of a sudden, right. And there she was. And it's, it's the thing leading up to being... A widower, like five years of uh, day and night care, right. staying in the house, uh, yeah. not, you know, a real intensive, because uh, yeah. uh, I took good care of my wife. Yeah. Um, now, are you into... Uh, well, it's been a long time between hands for the people on the stage up here. Um you know, uh, hobbies, I mean, music, you, you guys... Oh, we, we were in Budapest, she took me to the opera, she took me to the ballet. Really? Um, oh, yeah, we, oh. we travel an awful lot. I have, first... a, I have about 400 uh, movies on videotape, uh, we have four VCRs. Yeah. We just have a... The, four two, uh, the first two years of our marriage we spent traveling in five states in the western coast. Uh -huh. We should repeat that you are 21 and your husband is 70 and you've been married for... Three and a half years, and everything's fine. Thank you very much. We'll be back in just a moment. A beautiful, spacious sky. Introducing a new brand of family sportswear, American Spirit. You can have a picnic with the colors. We had a picnic with the quality. Tested quality. Extra quality in each garment. Quality that makes the low prices outstanding. All American values. All American made. That's American spirit. Of all the ways you can furnish your home, one of the most beautiful ways is with Anderson feature windows and patio doors. Elegant designs bring the warmth of tradition, the comfort of nature. Ordinary furnishings create a look. Anderson windows create an experience. Commonwealth Lumber, Berea Prehung, Hartfield True Value, and West End Lumber. We have pictures. You can go for great tasting fish, tender chicken, and shrimp to go from Long John Silver's. You're gonna get your wish. Hey, hey, go, Chris. You're on. Go for three shrimp batter dipped fish plus our new crispy fries, just $1.99.
To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Okay, just uh, for a second, may I ask you both to stand? Here are Dick and uh, Dick Wilson and Cheryl McLean. Here's the story. Uh, you're now 56, she's 29. You began dating 13 years ago when Cheryl was 15 years old. He was the high school volleyball coach. <laughs> they saw each other. He said, this isn't right. I can't do this. He said, this is wrong. You get to, you got to go to school. You got to go to school. I guess. They stay in the closet and they date and they date. date. How long have you been married? Well, we we're are not, not married. married. No, wrong. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, it doesn't say that you were married. No, we're not. Why did I just assume 13 years ago? All right, so you're not married. So right. why not? What are we mad about, audience? Help me out here. Uh, you must really feel uh, deja vu all over again, as Yogi says uh, on this thing up here. You must feel an empathy. I, yeah, I feel a little bit there, but then uh, the children involved, and her being 17, and she doesn't know if she's going to go to school or not and they haven't got any plans, you just can't, she's in a dumb period right now. We all go through it, from 15 to 19, we're so dumb. And to make a decision of this type yeah. is well, just Well, you wouldn't want to say Cheryl went through that. She met you when she was 15. Well, no, she didn't have, she didn't have the choice of being dumb. I pushed her to school. She had to go to school or I'm out the window. I mm -hmm. said, you get to school, you get a degree, then we'll talk. And that's true, he did push me to go, and he is the reason I graduated from college. Mm -hmm. So the advice, uh, so the advice then, first of all, get your education. Huh? Yes, oh, education. Yeah, absolutely. And he even pushed me to date other people. Yeah. Really? I did yeah. other people until I couldn't handle the double yeah. life. Yeah. You guys couldn't even go out together. You weren't of age. You couldn't even order a white wine spritzer, could you? She, well, she needs to get out, go to football games, go to parties, uh, meet other guys, get on to college, yeah. get to college, get that whole social life out of her, yeah. then come back, and then maybe something. Uh -huh. But and, right now. Right. No and and uh, you, uh, well, do you want to know if they're going to get married? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because? We have independent lifestyles, and that would interfere with it. Oh. We, we do love each other? Yes. Do you two yes. love each other? Yes. Yes. But. Uh, but, you know, I don't understand why I continue <laughs> dating, is, well, I shouldn't say dating, but living together like this. But it's, it's, it's more fun. We get together for three or four days, and then we're apart a couple of days, and then you generate that. Oh, no. well, uh, I've, I've I miss my that. husband in a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're happy for you, you know. Okay. Uh, but if you get married, you know, please I'll let be us... back on the show. Yeah, yes, and this audience wants to, you know, you're going to be registered at Bloomies, I assume, and uh, we'll get you some... Uh... Yes, my good man, you've been very patient. Well, this looks like standard fatherhood fixation, you know. Uh, is there... Thank I... you, doctor, that'll be $50. <laughs> yes. In both cases, uh, well, it's in, the second in the second couple, it looks like the... Uh, her, her father was lacking her life. Uh, what's the situation with, with the first couple? Was your father ever there for you? Oh, yes. My father is great. I love him very much. We have a, we've always had a great relationship. Um, yeah, I was just wondering, because uh, I'm 17 also, and I'm entering my senior year and all that. What do your friends at school think about it? And, like, do you like going to school? And are you like, uh, you know, oh, yeah, I was with uh, my fiancé, I guess, or whatever you consider? Yeah. How do you, how's that? What's that like? Well, Leslie? some of them have the comment of saying, cool. And then, you know, some of them are like, you're just crazy. Yeah. What does your girlfriend, soon to be stepdaughter, Amy, think? Well, ask her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy for my dad and, and her, you know, because, I mean, it is love, you know. I mean, it's not just lust or anything. I mean, does it look like it'd be lust? So, it is. Love. It is. And, we'll and I'm back. happy for him. And we'll be back in a moment. Deep down inside, we knew it could happen, but uh, I think we're ready for it. I think it's just we're, we're a little scared. But I believe because of the length of time we've been together, 
and because we know each other so well that we feel that we can face it and that we're prepared. Can we look? Shaking. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Congratulations. <sighs> you happy? Mm-hmm. If you want the lowest price on carpet or tile, I mean the absolute lowest price. You gotta come to Carpet Bar. If you want a 10-year guarantee on carpet pad and installation, you gotta come to Carpet Bar. If you want interest-free financing for six months, you, you gotta, gotta come, come to, to Carpet, carpet Bar. Bar. If you want to see America's biggest selection of quality flooring, you have gotta come to Carpet Bar. Or call 1-800-777-CARPET and we'll come to you. For a square deal on every square yard, you gotta come to Carpet Bar. The latest vehicle from GM has no moving parts. It uses no gas. It's made entirely of plastic that turns into steel. The new GM MasterCard. Every time you use it, GM will credit 5% of your purchase toward a new car or truck from GM. That could mean hundreds, even thousands of dollars in savings over and above any other discounts or rebates. And there's no annual fee. The GM card. The new financial vehicle. I'm your new plumber. Yep, your old friend Roto-Rooter. Sure, Roto-Rooter is famous for cleaning drains and sewers, and now we can solve any plumbing problem day or night. Leaky faucets, clogged pipes, installation, repair. For fast guaranteed plumbing service from the name you trust, call Roto-Rooter. There's only one. Same fast service for any plumbing problem. The name and away go. I would like to ask Leslie, um, what do you think is involved in raising four children? And I know that right now things seem really rosy. It hasn't been for that long, but I, I'm guaranteeing you there's going to be some time when you say no to those kids and they are going to resent what you have to say. And how do you think you're going to be able to handle the conflict that will come up? I've lived with them. I've told them no. And they, they have accepted it. Got a question for what? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, Leslie, uh, most 18, 20, 19-year-old guys are goofy. They work at McDonald's. They have no money to buy you things and do stuff, and they're the same kind of dummies that the gentleman in the front row was talking about. Do you think, and I'm not trying to judge, is there any possibility that part of the attraction to this love is the fact that he's able to provide you things that guys your own age just can't get, and that maybe later on those same guys that you don't particularly want to hang around with now will be able to? Well, yeah, he's able to provide for me, and I, you know, that's what we want. But another thing that goes along with that is the fact that most of the guys in my class and a little bit older than me, they're just, they're not what I want. They're just too immature. You know, I get sick of going to the parties. I get sick of holding them up when they're drunk. You know, it's not what I want. I want something more mature. Well, Leslie, um, right now, a lot of fuss is being made over you. This is a lot of going on and all kinds of things. And um, I think that you really ought to live with this gentleman. Be the mother, be the housewife, be the I cook. Have. Live right. in the house. Right. I have. Live in no, 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 no. Months. I'm not saying She's go home to your mother. Months. I am saying live there. Do the laundry. Clean the I floors. Do. I do. Make the meals. I do. And if after a year Every of night. that, you're still really in love, and happy, I this will. lady isn't listening. Of, you know, go for it. Josh, quickly. What did you want to say, Josh? <laughs> she's, she's lived in the house for four months. She's done the cooking. She's done the cleaning. She's done the grounding of the kids. She's done the nurturing of the kids. Um, she's already been through that role. Why do you think that I've been able to make a decision about Leslie? It just wasn't some kid that Amy had brought home. And we'll be back in just a moment. September 1st, Washington, America's legendary big boy, enters the presidential race. Visiting national landmarks, of which he considers himself one, he drives by his soon-to-be new home, but for some reason is not welcome with open arms. On the campaign trail, big boy urges voters to come into big boy and cast their ballots for him. It's confirmed, big boy is giving away free French fries with any sandwich now till September 30th. Will the free fries offer swing the vote to big boy? Stay tuned. 
Northfield Park is truly sporting. Two dollars has won over fifty thousand. Dinner and a show's only twenty dollars or so. The evening is delicious. How's your appetite for fun? Northfield Park is such a great entertainment value. You're a winner from the start. And every night getting better. The place goes crazy. During DOC's back-to-school savings event, some people actually dressed like students to get their frames for half off. Now everyone, 8 to 80, student or not, can get our best-selling frames for half off. Plus, you'll get them in 60 minutes or less. And as always, there's no risk, because you get 30 days to try your glasses or contacts, and if you're not 100% satisfied for any reason, you'll get your money back. You have my word on it. Taking some work home with you? You know, I'm in the paper business. Newspaper? Toilet paper. I make white clouds. Oh, sorry. Don't be. Hey, your white cloud's really soft. Oh, well, not to brag, but white cloud is soft and thicker than even the leading bathroom tissue. I've been looking for a bathroom tissue this soft and thick. Funny how things just kind of fall in your lap. For that same soft, thick feel, with no wings, no dyes, no perfume, try new white cloud free. White cloud. Only clouds make it softer and thicker. Win the Super Lotto jackpot and take your money over 26 years or the jackpot's current cash value right now. Oh, I'm glad it's your decision. Woo. Coming up on Channel 3 News at 6, an emotional plea from a Canton parent to find the killer of an 8-year-old blind daughter. Parents in Mayfield Heights are jubilant tonight. Three missing children have been found. And in Africa, the health of prostitution comes tumbling down. All of that coming up next on Channel 3 News. If you'd like to order a video cassette of Donahue for only $24.95, just call 1-800-FOR-VIDEO. For a transcript, send $3 to 1535 Grand Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203. Or call 303-831-9000. He thinks his wife should have a career serving him. Men who want to return to the traditional lifestyle. Next, Donahue. Yes. Okay, um, I have a comment for Josh. Um, I'm 18, and the sexual and emotional pressure from 21 is hard enough. I think that if you were mature as you said you were, you would have walked away and not have to left her to deal with such a pressure. Yeah. Uh, services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. Nasty, rotten, mildew stains? Compare three sprays of Tylex to just one of X-14. In minutes, the X-14 side is cleaner. X-14 is better. Tetley Iced Tea. Brew up some smooth, clear Tetley Tea for that tiny little tea leaf taste. Bet you'll like it better. Guest accommodations provided by the luxurious Drake Hotel, a Swiss hotel on Park Avenue at 56th Street. Call 800-DRAKE-NY and ask about our weekend getaway and honeymoon packages.